Today, Kevin and I have three fun things to try for you. Random things, I just put them together. These are the Daryl Lee uh, Rock Lee Road Block. This is uh, milk chocolate with other stuff. And this is the Caramel Craving Milk Chocolate from and I have This one actually is from Haman's. It is a Old Dominion peanut bar or peanut block. It was only 79 cents yeah. at a place called Pritchfield Meats. And this and is pretty good. We have tried other uh, bars like this that are made of peanut. There was a Planters brand. It feels um, like a peanut brittle almost. There's another brand too and it is... Munchy Munch. 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 Is it called something just like, Munch? Something like that. Okay. Well, yeah, this is Old Dominion Peanut Company. It seems like we did a video way back where we compared the planters and the mm -hmm. munch um, together. This is looks like it's going to be that kind of bar. 79 cents. I had to pick it up and try it. Mm -hmm. Now, these are great big bars. This is a 6.4 ounce bar, 180 grams. It was, these were $4.99 each at World Market. Of course, you're going to pay a little bit more because it's from World Market anyway. That's all big bar. But these are all the way from Australia. So, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more. It's this Proudly Palm Oil Free, made in Australia. This is the Rockley Road Block Milk Chocolate, the classic combination filled with marshmallow, coconut, and crunchy peanuts. So that's a twist. Um, because Rocky Road, when we've we've made Rocky Road for the channel, um, I it did not have coconut. It had nuts and marshmallow and chocolate, mm -hmm. but not coconut. Mm -hmm. No. I would call, I would say that Rock Lee Road. Rock Lee. Rock, what did I say? Rock Lee. Rock Lee. I would well, say Rock Lee. Rock Lee. Okay. I don't Rock know if it is. That's just when I look at it. That's no, right. that's okay. You're probably right. Who knows? Um, when so, you make up words, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, people don't know how to pronounce it when you make it up. www.darylee.com. Um, it is five servings in here. Four pieces are 180 calories. We have tried other things from uh, Daryl Lee before this brand, and I could open it. I'm not going to struggle with it. Um, and they, they're always good. Always good. Good great. The awesome box? Yes. So this is the front. Smooth, you would never know anything's going on. And then a party in the back. Yeah, Business in the front and party in the back. <laughs> well, you can tell they poured their chocolate uh, liquid and then dropped stuff in it. Yeah, no shortage of marshmallows. Even in the middle where it's a little lighter, there's still a lot okay. going on. So four of those is 180. Really nice chocolate. Mm hmm. I didn't get any coconut. Me neither. Mm hmm. I didn't. And the marshmallows might have had a little bit of flavor. I mean, I got two up, oh, I got a little piece of coconut in that bite. Very, very, very small at the very mm -hmm. end. Yeah. There was a little very piece, small like, piece hidden in there. Mm hmm. Um, the marshmallows add texture to it, but I don't know that they add a lot of flavor. They might have added a sweetness to it, but they might have added some sweetness. I don't really taste like marshmallows. And there, there, it does look like there's um, peanuts all through there. Yeah, I didn't get any peanuts. I didn't either, but that's what it looks visually like there is. No, the piece that we got was mainly all marshmallow. Mm -hmm. It was, it tasted like marshmallow and chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, a light marshmallow and chocolate. Yeah, but I did think it's it still was good though. It, yeah, it was good. Um, the uh, the marshmallows are kind of chewy, mm -hmm. of like you would expect um, in uh, Rocky Road, traditional Rocky Road. I thought it was a good bar. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any problem with it. The mm -hmm. chocolate, it'd be different if the chocolate wasn't very good. It's nothing that mind blowing, but right. it was good. But that's what I'm saying. If the chocolate wasn't very good, if it was like a cheaper chocolate, it wasn't just a good quality chocolate. I would say, eh, it was you know really. Blah. But the chocolate's really good. So, I agree. So the chocolate kind of helped everything else out. This is the caramel craving. It is milk chocolate full to bursting with chewy caramel fudge and crunchy caramel chips. Four pieces is 170 calories. Okay, so you really can't tell there's crunchy caramel chips. Yeah, there's like little bumps in the back, but it's very, very subtle. Little, like waves. 
That broke easy. Ooh, I'll give you a piece. No, you can have that one. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, this has got one in it too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely chewy pieces. Mm-hmm. That is not what I was expecting. Mm-hmm. Those chewy caramel pieces make the whole chocolate bar kind of chewy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the flavor of them. It reminds me of a, you know, sugar babies. Mm -hmm. The little sugar babies that are covered with chocolate, but they're like a really chewy caramel. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. They've got little hunks of those all through that chocolate. I was trying to think of what that filling, that chewiness was, sugar baby. No, you're right. We haven't had those in a while. They're no, so good. They're good. Um, but that chewy, kind of tough, gritty, kind of sugary texture, mm -hmm. that's what it's like. The the more I chewed that, the more the, the flavor came out mm -hmm. of that caramel, and the better and better it yeah. got. And you get these little pieces of crunchy like sugar mm -hmm. almost, like little hard pieces of sugar. Yes, and the, the sweeter it got, mm -hmm. it's like the flavor just developed more in your mouth the, the more you chew it. Yeah, that one's really good. It's delicious. Yeah. yeah, that's the one I would chew. This one, I mean, if you want it, if it sounds interesting, go for it, but you're not going to be super excited about it. No, because it's basic. It's yeah. a basic bar. They've thrown some, it, it seems like, I know they've done more, okay? But it seems like they've just thrown some marshmallows in milk chocolate. You don't get a lot of the coconut flavor. It's just, it's it's a basic bar. I think that's what the deal is. The flavors just aren't real. Does it elevate Blow the me chocolate. away. Yeah. That the, one blows me away. Yeah, that I one, the caramel really elevates the yes. chocolate. So. But if you're going to go yeah. to World Market and spend five bucks, that one is going to be the one you're wanting to Especially if you like that chewy caramel mm -hmm. texture. That, yeah, that one's delicious. Okay. So now we're moving on to the American. Totally product. different one. Yeah. This when I bought it, I had no idea it was Hammond's. Old Dominion Peanut Company since 1913. This is a peanut block, cholesterol free. That must be a big deal. 1.65 ounces. I've never looked at a candy bar and thought, is that cholesterol free? But if I you're guess, watching your cholesterol, you do. I guess so. <laughs> um, this is um, www.hammondsbrands.com, manufactured by Hammond's Brand in Denver, Colorado. One serving, uh, the whole bar is 220 calories. Let me tell you what the ingredients are. This may take a while. Peanuts, sugar, corn syrup, and salt. That's, That's it. good. So they basically teasing. made a peanut brittle, basically. Yep. Okay, I'm cut this one too. Very basic ingredients. And I'm 98% sure that Old Dominion is just like, they sell peanuts. So uh -huh. this is uh, using their peanuts. Because I think I've seen Old Dominion peanuts somewhere. Oh, we probably tried them for the channel. Oh, we have tried something. I should have looked that up before we started. We, we have tried something Old Dominion on this channel. I don't remember what it was. I'm wondering if it was a peanut bread. In my, oh, in a tin. Yeah. Well, I think it was. I really like that. That's really good. Um, you know what I like about it is the ratio of peanuts to the crunchy bar is much higher. Cause so the, you got tons of peanuts and a little bit of crunch is kind of holding them together. And it tastes like a natural salted peanut. Yeah. It, you're, you, um, it's good. in some of these, uh, in some peanut brittles, you're tasting more of that syrup flavor, that sweet, sweet sugar flavor is coming through, and you're getting less of the peanut flavor itself. That just tastes like the raw peanut, mm -hmm. and they just use the, the sugar just to hold it together. Yeah, yeah, literally just enough to hold it together. And if you look at it, you can even see there's not tons of like big hunks of the, the clear part. Mm -hmm. There's mostly peanuts. No, they're really giving you the opportunity to enjoy Peanuts. those peanuts yeah. and let those pe that that's good. peanut shine in it yeah, yeah i think I that's like very that. nice now i cannot i mean don't even ask uh how does that compare to the planters i can't tell no. you because we haven't had that in so long when we haven't had something in in years which literally it's been years since we did that mm. review i'm not going to be able to give you a fair answer from my memory, it seems like the planters had some saltiness to it. Yeah, and that one. This does not have any salt. Yeah, they could, they could bump little. their salt up. Yeah, very, very little salt, but I still like it 
a lot. Oh yeah, I would eat that 100. percent But I, but when I was eating it, I was thinking I could use just a touch more salt to right. add to that sweetness. But it's delicious. It's still very good. Uh, and uh, well worth 79 cents. You're gonna devour. The, you're gonna eat it pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but my favorite thing was the Daryl Lee caramel. You can't compare it at all. No. I'm buying these two things, and I'm probably not gonna buy the Rock Lee Ro Leah. Rock well, Leah right, right. Road again. I'm probably not gonna buy that one again. Uh, just because it didn't, you know, okay. make my eyes roll in the back yeah. of my head. It's um, just okay. It's basically just a chocolate bar with some different textures. <laughs> right. So I will have a, a picture for you at the end for my Australian friends who are watching this. Let us know which one is your favorite between these two bars. And thanks for watching.